So well, I think uh, today I'm going to start a, a new series um, of of video uh, of videos uh, where I would like uh, to give you a short summary of uh, all of the videos that I made in the previous week. So every month uh, a short summary video um, of the most interesting video clips of the previous weeks. Well, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again. And today uh, under the microscope uh, already uh, the first microbe and amoeba, of course in time lapse. Uh, and if you are interested in watching the full version of all of those videos then please do have a look uh, into the, the description because uh, this is where I placed uh, the links uh, to all of the videos uh, that I'm going to show you a summary today. Well this amoeba of course was moving around uh, hunting for food uh, and uh, um, yeah kind of changing its shape as it's moving along however um, as the time passes by the water under the microscope slide started to evaporate more and more and more and the cover glass which is on top of the amoeba he started to press down on this little creature here more and more and this caused the amoeba to then also as a matter of fact uh, yeah to become compressed and squashed and even to pop open and this is something I'm going to show you here um yeah look uh, now it popped open and the contents of the cell are now spilled out um, and uh, yeah that, that's it uh, for the little cell here um, and what's going to happen to all of those uh, cell contents well this is of course the, now a food source uh, for other microorganisms and I think one of the interesting things here is, is that you're actually able to see what the amoeba has eaten because uh, the green structures that you see now um, in there these are um, diatoms which are algae that the amoeba has uh, has eaten and now here we go again okay so the cell pops open again and uh, all of the contents are spilled out but in nature everything's recycled uh, so um, yeah nothing's uh, wasted here and uh, yeah basically the contents of this cell is now the food for the, for other cells and for um, other microorganisms yeah one of the nice things here um, in this uh, program is, is I'm able to actually yeah look uh, move forwards and backwards here so I'm going to show you here everything again a little bit larger how the cell pops open and here we're able to also see a couple of other interesting structures like for example a nucleus you might be able to see of the cell um, yeah and of course a whole bunch of food vacuoles and, and yeah a variety of other things in, uh, as well so this was actually one of the first videos I made and again if you want to watch the full version you can check uh, the description below uh, where I included the links and another uh, video let's jump to the next one um, yep and that's the next one here <laughs> these are paramecia and you might now wonder a little bit about the yeah, somewhat lower image and video quality the reason is, is um, I'm very happy about this uh, video clip here because this was actually one of the first videos that I made 23 years ago back in the year 2000 and uh, I recorded this um, on a videotape on an analog video magnetic videotape obviously at that time um, yeah uh, video recording was not digital yet or at least was very expensive um, to have it digital so at that time I still used the uh, videotape but look at this uh, the the paramecia here they they have a funny shape they start to spin and they're extremely thin now and the reason is because I added some salt um, yeah I've been even experimenting around at that time and the salt has now pulled out uh, the water of the cells by osmosis um, and uh, they start spinning and then they stop moving yeah and uh, yeah so I, I, even at that time I was, was able to observe uh, the effect of, of uh, osmosis uh, on on cells yeah and uh, I think here here yeah here we see an individual one where you can see that it's uh, already become quite thin it starts spinning and, and that's it for the cell yeah so this was uh, again if you want to watch the full version here um, of uh, this video then do have a look in the description below the next one what is that ah yeah that's the, <laughs> the microbes of my coffee machine this is uh, the water tank um, water container of my coffee machine and I discovered that there's a biofilm growing in there so there was a green layer um, of, of, of slime growing inside uh, the uh, yeah the plastic uh, container and I, of course I had to put it under the microscope as well this is when I saw a lot of diatoms now diatoms are algae so they yeah they're photosynthesizing as a matter of fact uh, they're producing quite a bit of oxygen worldwide so in that sense they're quite important here and uh, I had a closer look at them as well in on a small droplet of water and the rotation that you see here that I have this I have done with the video editing software so I did not rotate the slide but I kind of experimented around and played around a little bit uh, with the video editing software as well well diatoms were quite uh, plentiful um, yeah in this uh, biofilm layer uh, but not only uh, here we see again a whole bunch of uh, 
diatoms that are found there. But not only, chances are pretty good that if you find uh, diatoms there in the biofilm that you are also able to find other microorganisms. Um, and indeed, uh, I did find uh, this little cell over here, as a matter of fact, a few of them. Um, yeah, they are also um, are like amoeba. Maybe they are amoeba um, and they move. Well, actually, they, are, they should be because that's uh, how they move around. And even here, you are able to see some of the um, the cell organelles, but uh, this one was significantly smaller than the one that I showed you previously. And uh, you can also see that um, yeah, it's not quite as colorful inside because yeah, of the food that it's eaten. Yeah, here you can see again a little bit of size comparison between the amoeba and uh, the diatoms that I just showed you before. Yeah, so this is uh, yeah, also uh, quite an interesting thing here. Um, yeah, it kind of uh, reminds me that I should uh, wash and clean my coffee machine more frequently. But then again, I mean, life is very resilient. And if there's somewhere an opportunity for life to grow, then basically this is what it will do. Yeah? It will life will, as I mentioned, it will always prevail. So um, yeah, and then the last video is uh, was a summary video where I wanted to give you a short overview of uh, the, some very common pond uh, and water microorganisms that you're able to find. So I've given a little bit of an, of an how do you say, an overview here. And uh, here I'm just uh, going to show you um, yeah, six um, of the specimens uh, that I wanted to share with you. And of course, if you want to know a little bit more about them, then again, I don't have to say it again. <laughs> you can check the description below and this is where you can also find the link uh, to the original video. Yeah, the one in the top uh, left corner, these are bacteria. Um, so you can already see that the size difference is, is quite uh, quite significant to the other um, creatures that you that you're able to see here yeah of course if you're able, able uh, if you're interested in watching more of these videos um, of course I can recommend uh, this one over here but I think uh, for today it's enough again I'd like to invite you of course to subscribe to the channel if you also like microscopy and nature observation of course yeah all the best uh, happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time bye bye